so it's officially the first day of spring tomorrow. Well, I hope it is anyway. I normally get my dates wrong, but if it isn't tomorrow, then it's very soon. So it's time for some content for the warmer weather. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the items, the essential items that I couldn't live without this spring or summer. But as well as clothing, I'm going to be talking about accessories, skincare, fragrance, and I'll link everything that I talk about in this video down in the description box. I also might need your help with a few recommendations as we go along, so feel free to get involved. And just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 31 inch waist. If you like this video at any point, please feel free to drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So the first essential is groundbreaking. It's a t-shirt. Of course, everyone knows you need a t-shirt for the warmer weather. You didn't need to watch a YouTube video to tell you that, but which t-shirt should you go for? So for my regular fitting tees, my go-to is the brush cotton tee from Cars. I've been wearing them since last summer. I absolutely love the fit of them and they're so comfortable as well. I've actually just bought myself a load more of these and they're gonna get a lot of wear this spring and summer. Love the things. And then for something with a more fashion forward cut, I like to go for something with a relaxed fit or a boxy fit. When layering is out the question, sometimes a regular fitting tee can look a little bit too simple, a little bit dull, so the boxy t-shirt gives your outfit more shape and gives off a more interesting look. But I personally don't like anything where the sleeves are too long and I don't like anything where it's too long in the length. Unfortunately, a lot of oversized or boxy t-shirts have these problems, but then again, I'm really fussy with my t-shirts. To be honest, I should probably make my own boxy tees because I am that fussy, but I'll link some of my favorites in the description box. The next essential is a jacket, and again, I know, not groundbreaking stuff, but I'm going to tell you which jackets I go for. I absolutely love a jacket, and I think a lightweight jacket is absolutely perfect for the springtime. I like something with a slight crop in the length, not too cropped, I don't want a crop top, but something with a slight crop, and something I can dress up and dress down. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with a simple black jacket, a varsity jacket, or a Harrington jacket. Also, a simple leather jacket, like this one from Cos gives off a great look and I really like these at the moment. I also really like those vintage French style worker jackets as well. These never go out of style and you can pick them up for a really great price from places like Etsy and eBay. The next essential I've got is a tank top. Now I don't tend to wear these on their own but when I'm wearing an open jacket or an open shirt then sometimes I wear a t-shirt but sometimes I want to switch things up and wear a tank top instead. Not only do they keep you cooler, the lack of sleeves helps out with that part but they also give you a more interesting look as as well. How interesting of a look? I don't know, I'll let you decide that, but I think they look great. I get all my tank tops from Marks and & Spencers and I think they're solid. I think they're £24 for a pack of three, but I'll have to check that. But they're a great fit, they're really comfortable and they're great for the price. If you don't have a Marks & Sparks near you, then I do feel a little bit sorry for you because you don't get to enjoy their food haul. But Uniqlo do tank tops, cars and so do weekday so i'll link them all down in the description box also calvin klein are meant to do some really good ones so there's plenty to choose from i'd recommend sizing down a full size if you want them to fit a bit snug if not forget that and just get your true size it's finally time to get those white sneakers out again and the person i'm going to be looking forward to wearing most at the moment is the onitsuka tiger gsms and the mason margella gats these are both really versatile sneakers and they're going to have me covered for most occasions and also a lot of people are going to be wearing the white sambas so if you're not sick of them yet then they're a great sneaker to go for because they're really versatile as well. I actually just picked up a pair of the indoor gazelles from adidas in the green colorway and I'm really looking forward to wearing them this spring and summer. The next essential I've got is a pair of jeans but not any old jeans. Swap out those darker pairs for a light wash denim or an off-white denim instead. For off-white jeans Uniqlo, Arquette and Levi's do some really great options for a great price so you can't really go wrong with those. You also can't go wrong with a pair of light wash jeans from Levi's either. My current favourites are the 50193s and the 505s, but choose the pair that suit your style best. Also, Acne Studios and Orslo offer some great options, but they are more expensive, but in my opinion, they are worth the price. And for something more affordable, then I would check out the Space Jeans from Weekday and also their Barrel Jeans as well. They come in a load of different colours, so there's plenty of choice, but I would recommend that you size down a full waist size in these, because from my experience, they do run big. And when it comes to travel, I'm going to be avoiding anything that's too slim fitting and opting for a more relaxed fit instead. I've been doing this for ages now anyway, but yeah, especially in the summer. Relaxed trousers are a lot more comfortable and they keep your legs cooler. They let your pins breathe and that's what you want in the warmer weather. Well, I do anyway. I don't know about you, maybe you like sweaty legs, but I hate that feeling. So yeah, I'll wear the relaxed fits instead. Anyway, a pair of high-waisted relaxed fit trousers look great in my opinion and I'll link some of my favorites in the description box. Another great pair 
pair for the warmer weather is the Izzy Miyake pleats. I do currently own a pair, but I am going to be selling mine. So why am I selling a pair of trousers if I'm recommending them? Well, good question. Well, I bought my current pair when I was into more tapered fits and crop fits, but I don't wear those styles anymore. So I want to swap them for a more regular fitting pair, like this pair, for example. But these trousers, they're very lightweight, they're very expensive, but they're very comfortable and they're perfect for the warmer weather. Next, it's time to smell nice and add a bit of splash to your outfits. It's time for some fragrance. And the one I've been talking about for ages now, for years now, is Mojave Ghost by Byredo. I could wear this fragrance all the time. I never get sick of it. The only downside is it doesn't last as long as I'd like it to, but it is delicious. Another fragrance I really enjoyed wearing last year in the summer is the Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. I don't think you can go wrong with Tom Ford, and I'll probably be wearing this one again this summer as well. Creed Aventus was another one that I really enjoyed wearing until last summer when I had a bottle of it in a suitcase and it broke and went over everything. I could smell it on my wash bag, my shoes, and the suitcase itself for months afterwards, so every time I smell it now, it makes me feel a bit sick. So it was a nice fragrance once upon a time for me, but I ruined it for myself, but maybe you'll still like it. And in the warmer weather, as you're going to be wearing a lot less clothing, then you need to get creative with your accessories. So that's what I'm going to talk about next. If you want some jewellery that gives off a great look that's really fairly priced, then I'd check out Serge Denim. At the moment, I'm wearing their silver rope necklace, their Erode silver ring, I think it's called, and also their pearl and silver bracelet. And if you want to splash out a bit, then Tom Wood offers some beautiful pieces as well. This blue Hawkeye ring is a current favourite of mine, but the price is something I'm not too keen on, but it is what it is. And the next accessory to take your looks to the next level is a pair of sunglasses. Now, I never used to wear sunglasses, but towards the end of last summer, I got really into them and I'm really looking forward to wearing them again. If you're just wearing a basic plain t-shirt, then it can look a little bit boring. But if you throw on a pair of stylish sunglasses with it, then it takes your look to the next level and you're ready to shred the red carpet. And a pair that I really love and I wish I suited them better is the Apollo sunglasses from Monocle. I don't think they look terrible on me, but I think I could find a pair that suit me better. But what do you think? But if these do suit you, then I think they're a great pair to go for. And I'm also a little bit jealous because I wish I could wear these. Another pair that's really popular right now is the Geordie sunglasses from Lexola. But the only downside is you see them everywhere online. But you have to remember, online isn't real life, but you do see them everywhere online. But Cutler and Gross make some great pairs, or Cutler and Gross, however you pronounce it. Jacques Marie Marge makes some of my favourite pairs. Ace and Tate are great as well. But yeah, there's loads to talk about, so I'll link some of my favourites in the description box. And feel free to let us know yours as well. The next essential is an all-year-round essential, but it's definitely an essential in the spring and the summer. But it's an SPF moisturiser. The one I use is by CeraVe, and I've been using it for years, and it's served me well. Horace are another great brand when it comes to skincare as well, but just grab yourself some SPF and save your face. Another groundbreaking essential, shorts. Now again, everyone already knows that you need to wear shorts for the warmer weather, but normally I just wear a pair of sport shorts. But sport shorts, they're comfortable, they're lightweight, and they keep you cool. And normally when I'm wearing shorts, I'm wearing something really casual, so it doesn't really matter. But I'll probably do another shorts video this year. I did one last year, so yeah, I'll put some more recommendations in that. So stay tuned. The next essential for those bad hair days and to keep the sun out your face is a cap. Now, I would tell you a cap I recommend, but I don't have one to recommend, so I need your help. I own so many caps and I do love some of them, but they don't suit me. They do, but not as much as I'd like them to. So if you have any recommendations, then please do let me know. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I just can't seem to find it. I like that kind of vintage style with a bit of a point at the front, something that doesn't sit too snug to the head, but something that's not too high off the head either. I'm really fussy. Aime Leondor do some really great options, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of sick of seeing them. So I need some other options. So that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If I forgot anything, please do let us know. If you enjoyed this one, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.